Brew, when we talked back in July, you said you wanted to go through everything in camp. You wanted to get hit. You wanted to get everything done to get ready for the, for the season. Have you accomplished everything you wanted to accomplish this camp, and how pleased are you with where you are? Yeah. Um, throughout the camp, you know, I, I came in ready to do whatever I'd be asked to do, and um, they had a good plan for me, and we were able to, to get all, set some goals throughout camp, and we knocked them all down. Brew, um, Coach Halsey said that you have been acting like a mentor on and off the field for Nico the last you know year that he's been here, year and a half or whatever. What have you done to try to help you know grow him in the game of football and obviously in this offense and really just everything? Um, just a lot of helping him, you know, try to manage pressure and dealing with you know a lot of expectations. Um, you know, he's obviously he's done a great job and how he's carried himself, how he's been a leader on the team. So I've just tried to kind of help show him an, an easier path to, you know, not making similar mistakes to myself and um, just creating good habits and setting like daily things, like things that have helped me since I'm just an older guy. So kind of trying to get him to skip some steps and, and learning lessons. Brew, did you, did you know Nico at all before you get, like when you were growing up, when, before you came to Tennessee? You're older than him, but did you know right. of him? I knew of him. Um, like you said, I was older, so like, by the time he was kind of doing his thing, I was getting into college. Um, so, I mean, I would hear about him, but we didn't have a personal relationship at the time. Describe what it was like kind of catching those first few initial passes from Nico, being able to go out there and, and route run, and then maybe how that connection has grown since those early catches. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. You start to build your confidence back. You start to, like you said, build a connection with them. They start to understand how you run routes, how you come out of the top of a route, your decision-making process. Um, and so those, those first few, it's just like the beginning of starting to build a foundation of confidence. And then you have an entire camp to just keep building on that. And then now with a mock game week and then another game week to just keep going. Uh, Brew, Coach Halsey was in here a minute ago, talked about you know, receivers. You guys have been injured kind of seeing that date when you can get back and then attacking it to, to get back sooner. But what's that process like or what was it like for you and when did you kind of realize that you were getting healthier than quicker than expected? Um, it was kind of the, I mean, as we went through spring, you obviously, you push rigorous rehab throughout spring and you kind of have the motivation of the fact you're watching your teammates go out there and practice every day. And then as spring was kind of wrapping up, um, I was able to do more like football-based movements things of that nature. You start involving, like, catching a football and what you're doing. You start doing, you know, slowed down route running. Um, and when I was able to do that at a, at a higher level, then I started to kind of see, like, okay, I'm doing this a lot earlier than I had anticipated. So, you know, come camp, I want to be 100%. So you kind of move your goals back a little bit closer, and you just push the needle even more. So you can – you want to be available for a guy like Nico, especially. And since I didn't get the opportunity to get that spring um, – get those reps in with them so it was uh it was really just it was more motivation for me to just keep pushing it we're wondering if you can give me an evaluation separately of two of your wide receivers first chris brazel and the other squirrel white yeah chris um you know he's got this particularly special talent like he's an extremely fluid route runner uh he's got a high football iq he attacks the ball. He's a jump ball. Go get it. He can also run a, like run down the any ball down the field, um, and he's he's a catch everything guy, kind of guy. Really good hands, contested catch guy, and then squirrel. I think we've all seen what he can do, um, but I think one of the undervalued aspects of squirrel is his ability to catch in traffic. And I think as an undersized guy to go across the field as much as he does and be able to make contested catches and uh, like the catch he made against Alabama at his size, like that's extremely hard to do. So his skill set is, uh, has grown a lot since I've been here. And, you know, he's a, he's a really good receiver. Both of them are uh, like, it's going to be, it's going to be fun to play with them. Bro, you were part of that 22 team that put up crazy numbers. Even that team didn't have, I think, the depth that this team has on the offensive side of the ball. What, what do you like about this year's group when you look at the tight ends, uh, when you look at you know wide receiver, all of that um, overall? Yeah, like you said, depth. You know, um, I think in, in 22, it, it was a high demand of volume on every game. You know, you're playing 80, 85 plays. 
um, week by week by week. And that's, that's a lot as a, as a receiver, especially when you're having to block in the run game as well. So, um, you know, it affords this opportunity to, to get other guys' touches, to get them comfortable in the offense playing. Um, and then also, it, and from a competition standpoint, it really pushes everybody. When you've got a guy behind you that's, you know, trying to take your spot, essentially, it pushes the needle. And, and I think when you add depth to a room, especially, like, like you said, the tight end room, um, it's really driven everybody throughout this camp. Like, there, there can't be a, any sort of complacency or anything in that regard. Brew, what have you learned about yourself the last 10 months, and how much have you thought about this first game being, being back in the stadium for you? Uh, I just learned that I'm, uh, you know, I can really do anything I put my mind to. I'm, I'm pretty hard-headed and resilient. Um, and when I set out to do something, I, man, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to track it down. I'm going to find a way to get it done. And, um, you know, I, I definitely made myself a little bit proud in going through this process and getting done what I was able to get done. But obviously it all leads up to what's coming up here in a, in a week and a half. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I just think about like the opportunity to get back in Neyland, get in front of it, get back in the environment. Um, you know, do what I love, and really just like being able to play free and and not worry about being an injured guy anymore. But you kind of seem like you, based on your answer, you've been reflecting on kind of your your path back. What, what was maybe the hardest part, or did you encounter some obstacles and, and tough days along the way? And and how do you think those helped you? kind of push through them and, and get to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, y you come across some, um, like they, they warn you as you go through the process, there's going to be days that are, that are, you could consider a setback. And I think I struggled with when I couldn't progress certain days, if I had to take it a little bit easier, if I had to, you know, maybe make it a day, I'm just focusing on getting the swelling down and things of that nature. Like I, it, it was a struggle in that regard, but um, really the, the mental aspect of it, not being involved, not being able to do the things you normally do, like really being having a bum wheel and not being able to be as active as you are as, just as an athlete, that part's hard. But uh, from the physical side, it's, it's not as hard as it is mentally. Last one, Webb. I'm not sure that, that there was a single moment, but if there was, at what point during your recovery did, did you become convinced that I can be exactly what I was before or better? Was there a time where you thought, okay, like I'm definitely going to be all right with this thing? You know, I wouldn't say one singular moment, but that was kind of the goal I had in my head the whole time. Like, I want to get in the best shape humanly possible. I want to give myself every bit of opportunity to get back healthy so I can come back a better player and continue to, to chase my dreams as I've, as I've been doing for so long. Yep. Thank you, guys.